class, I'm trying to show you here a demo of WinZip. We'll see how this goes. This uh, Cam Studio software I'm using. It's the first time for that, so um, we'll see how well this works. Actually, this Cam Studio is, is free software that you can download um, and use uh, as you need it. Um, when you open up WinZip for the first time, you will have the choice of having either the evaluation version or you can buy it. Um, I always use the evaluation version. I'm just plain cheap. Um, the only advantage I've ever seen really um, from, you know, that I would use, I guess, from the uh, evaluation version in the buy now is that you don't get this particular pop-up window. And when you do open these up each time, these flip-flop um, where the buttons are located. Nice little tip each time, which I never read. And this here is the actual WinZip application that's open now. And all you need to do uh, to run this, uh, to use this, is to take a file and drag and drop it into uh, the WinZip application. I've just taken a, a Beach Condo Rentals access database, but you can use anything that you desire, um, any files that you want um, to put in there. And I am just going to call this something really intelligent like week six homework. Um, I really don't change these um, settings too much, if at all. Um, pretty much take the standard. You can save these wherever you want. I'm saving mine on my desktop. Um, but if you have a certain place where you put different things, you can do that. You can also add multiple files in here, um, as many files pretty much as you want. So it's actually very nice to be able to, you know, for like our assignments uh, where you have five or six different assignments, it puts them all and groups them all together. So even if you wanted to use this Obviously, the word is done, but for, you know, for the PowerPoint and things like that, it's nice. It keeps everything um, in one nice little location together. Um, the final screen that it gives you is the the compression amount. You don't need to see this. Um, I always just kind of like to see it anyhow. And you'll see that um, before the compression, this was 496 kilobytes. After the compression, it was down to 22.33. What the software has done is it's actually taken out a lot of um, spaces, repetitive characters. Um, not exactly sure how it does all of that, but it ends up getting rid of a lot of information. Um, but it can be all reconstituted. I have very, very, very few problems. I won't say I never had any but I have very few problems reconstituting it um, when, when I ex extract the files. So I'll just say OK here. At this point now, the file is um, zipped up. And if we wanted to extract this particular file, um, you know, you would open up that, that zipped folder, excuse me, that, that zipped um, um, file and um, you know select which ones you want and you extract them and it'll ask you where you want to extract the files to uh, whether it was in the same folder area as where the, ex the, the zipped up files are or maybe you want to put them in, in a totally different place this is uh, software is, is very you know hopefully it'll help us out with the, the the access because the mail systems think that we're trying to send nasty stuff through the, the, the mail systems with the access databases not positive this is going to work it, it certainly will help um, but there are some security programs that still will look into the zip files and, and um, you know identify that it is an access database too so it may not cure all of our problems. Nonetheless, this is a good piece of software to, to utilize. I will give you the link. Pretty much just take the default settings when you, um, when you uh, decide to install WinZip. There is one place where it asks you if you want to kind of change out your Google toolbar or add a Google toolbar. It's up to you. Usually I say, no, don't do that. Um, but everything else I just pretty much let go. If you're using something else like 7-Zip or a few other zip files, they all pretty much do the same thing. And actually, I think they'll even open each other's zip files up. 
So if you already have some kind of a zip software um, that you're utilizing, you don't need to change it at all. And you are not required to, to utilize this. Um, it's just something that A, is a little bit extra information for you, and B, it might help us get these uh, access database files moved across the uh, mail systems a little bit easier. So. Uh, hopefully my voice hasn't um, irritated you too much, and I will talk to you later. Make sure you post any questions that you might have. Thank you.